Leading to Cordero from the EC to the GC with Wizzy and JT. Hi, kia ora noi tiwi, nau mai hara mai koutou ki tēnei hōtaku nga parakuhi i rungi tēnei reo rarangi tūratahi o Aotearoa, tingu tēnei reo rarangi nga Tūrangi FM. Ko tai mai te wāmu ngā pitu pitu kororo, mai a Jace te whiwirangi, mai te GC, rawa ko a hau te Wiz, mai te EC. Kia ora, good morning bro. Morena. Kia ora, kia ora, kia ora, kia ora, koe e te rangatira o ngā kai whakapāho. G'day Walter, how are you today brother? Good, bro. Hey, um, it's um, uh, whereabouts? It looks like you got. So whereabouts are you well, at the little, moment? It's my uh, my kids' little playground that I built for them uh, last week. I'm actually at a place called Movie World, one of the uh, premier attractions on the Gold Coast. <laughs> I don't know if you can see behind me, I'll just move my fat head out. Yep. There's a couple of yep. places there for everyone to have a look at, uh, mate. One of the, like I said, one of the premier attractions and a, a, a good place to spend the day. I think I, I spent the day here with you a few years ago, my brother. That's right, we did too, eh? And uh, yeah, man, that was that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Yes, I think we liked the log ride. That was the favorite. Later. Sorry, what's that? We'll get into that a little bit later. As usual, I'll start with the weather. Start with the weather, my bro. Uh, partly cloudy, so there's a few clouds in the in the sky today, and some of them are red. So what's the saying? A red sky in the morning is a shepherd's warning, or something. So perhaps a little bit of rain lately, but they are predicting a high of 26. So we'll see how we go. And a little later on in the week, some rain on Thursday. So uh, hopefully a little bit of rain. Not a bit of rain, sir. To warm the cockles of the heart. <laughs> so what's the time over there at the moment where you are? Uh, I haven't got a watch on me, but I can see, sort of see yours. So it's about quarter past five. Okay. Well, it's yeah, it's about uh, quarter past eight here. So, okay. Yeah. You're going to have to buy yourself a watch, mate. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can't find one big enough to fit around my fat wrist. <laughs> All right, let's start with you. What's been happening over there on the GC? Uh, a couple of things in the pipeline this coming weekend. The uh, If you've driven around the surface paradise, particularly around Main Beach, you would have seen them setting up the track for the upcoming uh, Gold Coast 600, which is part of the uh, the V8 Supercars Championship. You, are you a car man, Walter, Holden, V4, or that sort of carry on? Oh, Holden, mate. Yeah, I'm a Holden man. Yeah. The popular choice amongst most of my friends too. A couple of them are into the Fords. I actually drive a Ford at the moment, but that's another story. Um, so the guy leading the championship at the moment is a Kiwi. He drives for the Holden Triple Eight Racing Team. His name is Shane Van Gisbergen, and they call him Gizzy. So we're claiming him. That's close enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I mean uh, last name Bergen. Yeah, good Berger. Yeah. Good uh, Nazi pro Tūranga Nui Akiwa name Van Gisbergen. <laughs> um, and so in, a, in another month's time or so we have the uh, what they call schoolie so, so what happens is the last year of your school you come to the Gold Coast on the Friday night on the Saturday sorry for a whole week of partying and just letting rip and letting down your hair it's, it's a way of uh, crossing from your school life into adulthood so they just come to the Gold Coast surf as paradise and party for a whole week which tends to leave me, make me think, how would we have gone if we'd come to the Gold Coast as 18-year-olds whilst we're straight out of high school for a week on the on the drink? Mm. Yeah, well, hey. So, potentially... I'll, 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 I'll leave that to the imagination. Now, carry on. Looks like you just lost you a little bit there. Okay, uh, a couple of birthday calls. One yesterday for a friend of mine, Ashley Williams, Uncle Bucket. He turned 53. I first met Ash about two or I can't remember a long time ago. We did our HT license together. A good man, a good staunch member of the Pirates Club, which leads me nicely into my next birthday. Shout out to a good friend of mine also from school, Richard Francis, one of Pirates' best players back in the day when they were kind of struggling, mid table sort of a team. Richard, now a very accomplished Tamoko artist. He's got his own studio up there in Rotorua called Toyariki. So happy birthday to you, Buncey. Okay. Hey, brother. Over to you, okay, Walter. well, okay, so uh, Ashley Williams, I mean, uh, he's now into the recycling business at the uh, transfer station here. So, kia ora to you, Ashley, happy birthday. And when you talk about Richard Francis, here's something you may not know that uh, he designed our uh, radio station logo. Did you know that? There you go. So, he designed it many, many years ago, over 20 odd years ago now. So, kia ora to Richard Francis. Yeah, very talented guy. Uh, okay, so uh, I see you at Movie World. 
Well, we just had the uh, AMP show here, so we had our sort of rides over here over the weekend. You've been to the AMP show several times when you still live here, didn't you? Sorry. What was what was your favourite ride on the sh on the AMP show? What was your favourite ride? Uh, probably the one um, the Super Loop. Are you still with us, Jace? Over there on the GC. <laughs> Still here, the super loop. They used to go around the circle. Oh, the super loop. Yes, the super loop. And all your money would drop out. <laughs> yes, and that's right, because I thought you used to stand underneath, didn't you? And you used to wait till it went up and then you used to, you know. Right. Mind you, it wasn't just money that was Yeah, it wasn't just money that fell out. Uh, you know, it was all sorts of bits and pieces as well. So we had the MP show here in Gizzy over the weekend. Um, yes, we've had that. What else has been happening? Uh, of course, uh, Bathurst, they've had Bathurst over there and uh, hold, hold, I think it was one, two, and three placings. I, I, I think. Um, um, now how did the uh, Aussie, uh, New Zealand go against the Aussies in the rugby league? I, I sort of missed a little bit of it. Yeah, we we, uh, we ran second, which probably uh, wasn't the, the desired result. Uh, look, the boys had a, had a go for a little while there, though, a little bit. Um, underdone, I think, underprepared, and uh, hopefully they can build as they move into the Four Nations tournament being held in England. So, a bit of a hit out for the boys, a bit of a training run, a bit of a wake-up call, actually. So, hopefully they can, like I said, get to England, uh, sort their stuff out, and come out hard in the tournament over there. Oh, pretty cool. So, uh, happening for us uh, this week, what is happening this week, we've got the uh, the Kiorahi competitions happening for the uh, the schools today. Uh, not today, this week, on the 19th and 20th at Gisborne Intermediate. So we've got that happening. Uh, what else is happening this week? Ooh, roughly, that's a better competition-wise. Yes, and what's the plan for you for this week, bro? Uh, just the usual, mate. Back out to work later on this morning. Uh, well, the usual game of golf on Wednesday with a couple of mates. That's a, a bit of a, a weekly ritual. And, uh, yeah, mate, just uh, living the dream. Living the dream, eh? Movie world. That's the place to be, is it? I've got a bit of a uh, spiel prepared about movie world, so I'll just go through it. I'll get out of the way so you can see the uh, rides in the background. Now, movie world opened on June the 3rd, 1991, so that makes it 26 years old this year. It's been billed as Hollywood on the Gold Coast. There's a total of 18 rides spread over 415 acres, so it's a fair size. Uh, the park is owned and operated by the Village Roadshow Group. Uh, from when they took it over from another group called Warner Brothers. Uh, I don't know if you know the Warner Brothers joke, brother, uh, Walter, but what do you do when you see the police? When, Warner what did brother. You... <laughs> Warner brother. <laughs> so as you know, there's various uh, movie-themed rides and attractions. Attractions. Try saying that with a bubble gum in your mouth. Uh, ranging from motion simulators to slow river rides and my personal favourite, the roller coaster. Now, moving on to prices, uh, the, the, a one-day pass will cost you $79, but the best one if you're coming over from home for a holiday here is the 14-day Mega Pass, which gets you into four different parks, so Movie World, Sea World, Wet n Wild, and uh, Paradise Country, which is a new one. It's full of farm animals, so probably if you're coming from home, you don't want to go to see another farm, you've just come from a farm, and that'll cost you $109, and that gains you access into all four of those parks for 14 days, so two weeks, basically. Wow, well, I mean, I mean, you know, when I came and stayed with you guys, the, we were there for a whole day, and that was long enough. Yeah, you know, at at, uh, at Movie World. I seem to remember you getting uh, getting dizzy from one of the uh, merry-go-rounds, brother. <laughs> Actually, do you remember I I was walking along the main street? You know, they have the parade at Movie World. Remember the parade? Yep, yep, the parade. And uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, they got their big, huge TV screen down the main street in mm -hmm. Movie World. Well, uh, and I've got the photos to prove it. Uh, while, while you guys were up doing roller coastering, I was going for a bit of a shop around and look around. And um, I can remember walking on the main road in Movie World, and then uh, I see myself on the big screen. And anyway, Batman was coming out. And, um, and all of these ninjas just came out, and so I had to drop my bag, and I was ready to take the ninjas on. And then the voice comes over, can that man please get off the road? <laughs> that was quite an embarrassing moment for me at Movie World. I'm standing there, and Batman is right behind me in his car. So that was my memories of Movie World. Uh, mate, yeah. personality, maybe they thought you were the Joker. <laughs> yeah, they were. yeah, 
What, with shorts and a singlet? Yeah. No, I don't think so. And uh, no, I wasn't the smiling. The was the penguins. <laughs> uh, they, no, they, no, that would have been... Yeah, no, that would have been your cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, bro, thanks very much for uh, catching up and uh, look forward to catching up with you next week. Now, here in uh, New Zealand, uh, Monday is a holiday for us next week, so it's Labor Weekend, so I'll have to catch up with you on Tuesday. Are you going to tell me where you're going to be Tuesday next week? Any other particular area? Surprise me. Are you going to surprise me? I can, I can rearrange my diary. There's not much stuff in it anyway, so I'm sure I can fit you in, brother. <laughs> All right, Jason. any last words before we go? No, just uh, to everyone back home, enjoy the Labour weekend. Stay safe. Um, you know, Enjoy the company of your loved ones. And I'm going to go for a ride on the roller coaster. See you later. Okay, bro. I'll get that. The EC and the GC brothers. <laughs> <laughs>